What's up? This is Practice Peace and Love, wishing you peace and love in your life today. Coming at you with positive vibes, coming at you with love, coming at you, throwing strength at you, throwing clarity at you, throwing peace at you, just throwing everything at you. <laughs> I want to thank you for being with me today, and I got a positive message for you today. Hopefully this message helps you out. So what we're going to talk about today, this is something that I struggle with a lot. Are you stuck in the same routine? Do you feel like the things you are doing every day are not giving you the satisfaction that you need to just be able to like wake up and smile at your life? In other words, do you just feel discontent with your life even though you're you're getting things done? Like let's say let's say you have a job and you're providing for your family and you're paying all your bills and everything's fine. It's just it's getting repetitive because you're doing the same thing and like the only places you ever really see is like the inside of your car and the inside of your workplace because you go in the same place and then the inside of your house and like when when you first found this niche in your life where you were able to support yourself and your family you, you were happy with it and you're content you're like this is cool I got my routine now but as time goes on the smile falls and you feel less content with it maybe this is how I feel now I'm in a position where I I cannot have a normal job right now. I'm I'm in a position where I cannot travel around right now. I'm in a position where I have to be home a lot. And uh, it's mostly because I'm my maid, my daughter's main caregiver. So, I deal with this a lot where I where um I have a lot of small victories that help me to feel good, but the same small victories don't give you the same um, feel good buzz. And I think you know what I mean if, if you clicked on this video. So, the way that I deal with this is, uh, and, and the way that I would suggest for, for someone else to deal with this is for you to add some kind of change. And there's nothing else you can really do. Um, so if you got kids and you got like a valid driver's license and a good working car, you can drive to a different place. You can plan something once a week where maybe you find a different park to go to and hang out, hang out there for an hour or two. And, uh, or maybe you can get one cheap different toy to play with, like whether it's a, it's a handball or a basketball or a little Nerf ball that has like little whistles on it. I used to love those things. You gotta add some kind of change. Maybe eat someplace different once a week. If, if you eat out, I don't eat out. I'm, um, I'm a fortunate person, but I, I don't get to go out and travel or eat out a lot. I just I just got to stay home. So this is something I, I deal with. This is something I am dealing with, where it's the same small victories. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but it's not making me as happy as it was. It's almost like a tolerance. You're building up a tolerance to the feeling of um, self-worth. Uh, you're... you're Developing a tolerance to the feeling of success that you were getting from doing the things you were supposed to be doing. And that's okay. That's okay. If you feel stuck in your routine, that's okay. If you feel trapped, that's okay. Don't panic because you're not alone. I think almost everybody in, in America feels that way in the United States. Forgive me, outside countries, if you don't like me calling this place America. I don't like being a stupid American. <laughs> but that, that's not the point. Um, all you can really do is change it. You can change your mind and you can choose to think of things differently. And I know that's hard too because your mind immediately wants to snap back to your habits where you're just like, uh, I'm just sick of this. I'm not happy with this. But it's not going to help you. And um, so you have to push yourself and discipline yourself and practice getting into a more positive mindset or else you'll never get that positive mindset. And for yourself, for those around you, your co-workers, your friends, your family, your children, you need to have that positive mindset. you got to push for that positive mindset. And I know it's hard, especially if you're stuck in the same routine. That's what this video is about. When you're stuck doing the same thing, and, and maybe if you're not necessarily stuck, but you're just feeling stuck. You just feel stuck. And you're not getting the same success buzz that, that you normally get and that's okay and you don't have to 
You don't have to fret. You don't have to stress. You don't have to cry about it. You can cry if you need to. I'll give you a hug right there. Give you a little pat. <laughs> You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. And if you got friends, if you got buddies, if you got little girlfriends, like, find some time to hang out with them. Find some time to, like, maybe share how you're feeling with them. If you have friends that are not just fair weather friends, but they're actually good friends that value how you feel, it's kind of rare nowadays. Um, but if you happen to have buddies or friends that listen to you, that's a great place to start. It's like, like man, I, I just want to do something different. I want to add a change to my life so, so I can feel a little bit better. I think that's the only medicine I need right now. I think that's the only medicine you need. If you feel stagnated, if you feel like you're stuck in the same routine, then the medicine I have for you, first of all, is to smile because you're alive, you're okay, you got, you got your family, you got your kids, you got, or you got yourself at least. Even if you have no friends or no family, no kids, and you're just alone and you're isolated, at least you have yourself, okay? And you have me with you right now too. I'm with you too. You're all right. You're going to be okay. Now, discipline yourself and practice, not punish, don't punish yourself. Discipline means practice. Discipline is like martial arts. Discipline is practicing guitar. Discipline is e even learning language. You got to drill yourself. Even learning your first language, your second language, whatever it is. Discipline yourself to train your mind to think more positive. Discipline yourself to train your mind to be more grateful. Discipline yourself to believe that you're okay. Discipline yourself to make changes and, and to smile and to just be positive. And, like I said earlier, you can add something different into your routine. Spice it up a little bit. Maybe have a spicy breakfast. I love doing that. Red pepper on my, on my eggs and hash browns and then some hot sauce. Mmm, I love that. That's just, that's just me though. If, if that's icky, then you can just... Put that to the side. <laughs> you don't got to put red pepper on your pancakes or nothing like that. It's all good. I'm just saying, like, if you feel stuck, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't stress. You're not alone. Everybody feels that way. Just do something different. If you don't normally go to the gym, and if that's something you can afford, go to the gym. Working out makes you feel great. And you don't have to go to the gym to exercise. You can exercise at home. You can do... 10, 20 push-ups, maybe 30 push-ups, really strong. Maybe you can do 100 sit-ups, crunches, some obliques where you go to the side like that. Uh, 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 or a little like dead bugs where you're getting that core exercise. You know what I mean? You're doing some squats or uh, some stretches, some yoga stretches. Maybe learn some yoga online. It can seem silly. I know. <laughs> I know it can seem really silly, but... Just gotta try something different. Learn something different. Read about something different. Maybe read about herbs and plants, or read about like gardening. Read about natural events that you're interested in, like the aurora borealis. Read about the science behind it, or read about the history of the pyramids and the ancient Egyptians, or you can read about the the Sumerians. Or you can read about the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Incas, and their pyramids and what that's all about. There's tons of cool different things you can do to throw into your routine to help you to just cope with this feeling you're dealing with. Because if you clicked on this, maybe the feeling you're dealing with is like you're stagnated. You're, you feel dried out and you're not happy with the routine that you were happy with. All you got to do is throw in different stuff. Maybe take a visit to the library, and that could be fun for your kids. If you got kids that you're taking around, got kids that you got to try to entertain. Another thing you can do if you have kids, or even if you don't, but do crafty stuff. Get some newspapers, do some origami, do some painting. Uh, it doesn't have to be newspapers; it could be anything. Um, but I mean, newspapers are usually it's like there, it's it's there somewhere. There's a newspaper over there. There's a newspaper over here. You can go get it. <laughs> You can paint on it, you can draw on it, you can fold it up, you can do whatever, you can make little, <laughs> I don't know. There's things to do. There's little crafty, fun things you can do. You can try different foods. Just take a walk. Maybe you can rekindle an old friendship. Just spice it up. 
add something different and believe that you're all right know that you're all right because you're not alone there's a lot of people that feel that way it's a lot of people that that feel like they're not really going anywhere even though they have a a good routine where they're supporting themselves and taking care of their family that's something to feel good about and then like I said again probably felt good about it before but it's just running out because it's the same small victories and it's okay you're not depressed you don't have Asperger's you don't have a mental illness you're not possessed you don't have a bunch of dark spirits everywhere you are gonna be okay you are loved and you are fine and you will always be fine your spirit will always be fine so go ahead and look into something new go ahead and walk around a different block that you never walked around before go ahead and take an adventure take an adventure take a hike do something new you'll feel better the first and most I don't know if it was the first point but the most important point I made in this video that I really want you to take with you is you have to discipline your mind you have to practice with your mind you have to practice being positive practice something new practice something refreshing and new that maybe you've never heard of I don't know maybe you tried it all already maybe you already tried the 432 frequencies maybe you've already tried meditation maybe you've already tried prayer and church and, and those kinds of things but it's okay there's other things to try and there's other things to read there's an infinite amount of things to read on the internet you got options and I promise you you're gonna be okay train your mind discipline your mind make your mind tougher when the road gets tough you gotta get tougher when the road gets rough you gotta get rougher I promise you that you're gonna be okay do something new with your mind and it'll help you do new things in your life too or even if you're not doing new things the newness in your mind will bring newness to just the regular things that you do in your life I hope you got something positive out of this because I don't script my videos <laughs> so I hope you got something positive out of this I hope this helps you I want you to know that you're not alone and that you're loved I want to thank you for being with me today I wish you peace and love in your life God bless